So if you make any type of music and you haven't heard about OTT by Xfer, you're missing out. This plugin is basically the same as OTT by Ableton, but in a different skin and by a different company, but the plugins are based on each other. OTT stands for over the top compression and it can seriously spice up your sounds. So let's take a look at what this plugin is, how it works and what it does. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. So this is what OTT by Xfer looks like. OTT stands for over the top compression and this plugin is basically the same one that comes with Ableton, this one. So if you're an Ableton user, you can just use this one or this one, whichever UI you prefer. But if you don't have Ableton and you want to use this compressor, you can actually use it for free. I will go over what the knobs do in a second, but first I'm going to show you what this plugin sounds like. So I'm going to showcase this plugin and not the Ableton version, so you will have the exact same results as me. This plugin is also built into Serum. If you open Serum and you go to the FX tab, you can enable the compressor, uh, enable the multiband compressor, and you have the exact same plugin right here, as you can see. But I'm going to showcase the standalone version of it. I made this very basic synth patch, it's a lead. I'm going to play some random notes, play a little melody. And first I'm going to disable OTT, and the second time I play it, I will enable OTT. That's it without ODT, let me now play the same patch with ODT. Okay, so that is the exact same serum patch, but now with ODT. So basically what ODT does, it's a compressor, but over the top, as the name implies. So what's the difference between an OTT and a normal compressor? Well, first of all, it's over the top. But OTT works with downward and upwards compression. So downward compression is basically the standard compression that we all know, that we all use and that we all have. And what happens in downward compression is when the signal hits the threshold the compressor is set to, for example, if you set your compressor to minus 15 dB, if the input signal exceeds that threshold, the signal will be reduced and compressed. And in upward compression, as the name implies, it is just the complete opposite. When the sound goes below the threshold volume, the sound will be increased and not decreased. So that is basically what is happening behind this UI. And now let me show you what the different knobs do. So first off, we have the depth knob. This is basically how much signal you want to be routed through the compressor. So right now everything is routed through the compressor, so basically this is a dry wet knob. And we can turn this down to, for example, 50%, let's say. Alright, so now for the time. As you can hear when I'm playing, there is a lot of clicks. So if you don't want too much of these clicks, you can obviously change it in Serum, but you can also increase the time. This is basically the attack and release time of this OTT plugin. If I set this at 0%, you will hear a lot more clicks even. And when it's at 1000%, it's basically just completely gone, all the clicks. If you hold control while clicking on a knob, it will reset to its initial value, by the, by the way. So now the input and output gain, this is pretty straightforward. The input gain is the gain of the signal before it enters the plugin. And the output gain is the gain of the signal after it leaves the plugin. And then we have three volume knobs, H, M and L, which stand for high, mid and low frequencies. We can boost or cut them separately. So 
So then we have two more knobs on the bottom before we take a look at the sliders right here that we can also adjust. First is the upwards percentage and then the downwards percentage. This is how much upwards and downward compression is being applied. We can change this individually as well. Alright, and now let's take a look at the sliders which we can also adjust. As you can see we have a brown box and a green box. The brown box is the upwards compression and the green box is the downwards compression. And with these sliders we can change it individually for each frequency range. So let's say we want more downwards compression in the high frequencies. We can click here and drag and we can drag this around. So if we drag it to the right we will have more upwards compression. If we drag it to the left we will have more downwards compression. And this is the same uh, for the other frequency ranges. Just like that. So one more thing I want to show you is with the stock Ableton ODT. Instead of dragging it around together, you can also change it individually. So you can make the gap in between the two compressions, the downwards and the upper compression, you can make it bigger. Just like that. One thing that we can do different with the stock Ableton OTT that we can't do in the Serum OTT is we can drag up and down in these boxes just like this and you can see the small little lines move. This is just to change the volume levels to increase or decrease the volumes. And if we hold Alt and drag we can change them all simultaneously. If we hold Control and drag we can change all the brown bands at once. And if you hold shift, we can adjust this really finely. So that is basically the Serum OTT plugin. If you haven't downloaded this, I strongly suggest you do, unless you use the Ableton plugin, obviously you can use that. The result will be the exact same, only the UI is a little bit different. This video is not sponsored, but I think everyone should know about this plugin, especially if you make electronic music like me. This plugin is a real must have. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more free plugins like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out.